Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I've been waiting to do this for ages because we haven't figured out how to get it to work but now we finally have and I think we should start doing it now. I'll keep quiet for the cutscenes and stuff if you haven't seen it before. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. Um, by the way, um, just to let you know, I have played this game before, so, but, well, some shrines, like, I don't even know about, and there's this one that I will need to look up a tutorial someday, because I have no clue how to do it. Um, but other than that, yeah, so first you need to go over to this thing, and press A to examine it, um, then it will give you this. That is a Sheikah snake. Take it. It will help guide you after your long... Okay, I guess I wasn't connected properly. Slumber. So it's like, this is basically the most important thing in the game, kind of, I guess, because, yeah, it, it's very important. Um, so you can climb and push stuff. These boxes are very hard to push because they're huge, although it is possible. I can try, but I don't really want to. Um, and yeah, if you open a chest from backwards without shoes on, that can happen. Um, but in this one, you get shoes, and then um, you can crouch. It's actually really cool. And you open the chest, and you punch it. It's really funny. So, yeah. That is both of those chests opened. Now we go over to here. Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. 
that will show you the way. Now the door will open, which then we can get to the outside world, so that's good. Um, yeah. Link, you are the light, our light, that must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. This is also a very open world game and you can basically go anywhere you see but there are obviously limits to the map. It is kind of sad but you can, you can go, go to that volcano and to the castle. You can go basically anywhere. It's really cool. I also really like this music. It's very nice and calming. Okay, so we are on the Great Plateau and there are things you can pick up like sticks a tree branch. Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. So they're okay. Um, and there are lots of, I keep crouching. Um, yeah, there are lots of things. Oh yeah, you can press that button and switch very easily. And then there are Hylian shrooms. A common mushroom found near trees around Hyrule. Eat it to restore half a heart. That's quite useful. And then, over here, like, oh yeah, there are also some mushrooms here. I may as well get those because mushrooms restore hearts and that's good if you lose any. So, on these trees over here, you see all of those and this one, there should be some bladed rhino beetles which you can cook and make into elixir for a tack up, which is very useful. I guess there's not one there, but you can also do this um, while crouching. You press X to do that in case you want to speed up or something. So here is one bladed rhino beetle. This beetle's razor sharp horns demand that you handle with it with care. Boil the horns alongside monster parts to concoct an elixir that will raise your attack power. So that's very useful. I'm not sure if there are any others, but I think I see one just here. Oh, there are two. Oh, cool. And that, I think, is the only attack up food you can get on the plateau, which is like the early game um, place where you start out. And yeah, and you can also push rocks like that. And the, there was a squirrel, did you see that? And where is it going? I guess it's going down the cliff. Oh yeah, also beware, you can take full damage. So be careful for that when you, you are over there. Yeah, you can die from that fall. It's not very nice. Oh, here's a voice. Link. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. Okay. So, to access your Sheikah Slate, you press the minus button. Um, and this is something that you can do. You can cook things on an open fire. Baked apple. Direct heat has softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. So that's nice. I beg your pardon. I do believe that 
is my baked apple. You can't just go around taking whatever you please. <laughs> oh, forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. It is a bit strange to see another soul in this parts in these parts. Who are you? Mm. Me. I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where are we? Answering a question with a question. That is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is a gr the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Okay, where is he pointing? Oh, the temple of mm. time. That temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremony. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it had sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. Okay, that was the old man, the talk with the old man. Then here, we can get a torch. This torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. Throw weapon. Yeah. Um, with R, the R button, you can hold. And yeah, then you can do what it says. Well, then just help yourself to that torch there. And how may I ask you, are you planning to use it to set things on fire? That is rather unnerving. Please be cautious with that around any dry grass that might catch fire. Okay. You know, there are plenty of monsters in this area. That torch would make a good weapon if need be. <laughs> However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. Oh, that's also how you can do flurry rushes. I'll see if I can show you one in a moment. Lock on with ZL, if you want to know. Um, basically, with holding ZL, you can do that. Then to do a backflip, so if it's coming towards your side, you can, um, like, at the same time, you can, um, pull back the, um, move button and press X, which is jump, like that. And then you can also do it to the side, like that. And there is this, a woodcutter's tool of choice for felling trees. Its formidable weight and uneven balancing make it a slow, inefficient weapon. And then there are also some apples over here. So there's lots of stuff you can pick up. A common fruit found on trees all around Hyrule. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase its effect. That's quite nice. And then you can sprint holding B. You can also dive, I'll see if I can. And there are these things called Koroks in case you're new to Zelda. And you get Korok seeds, look. That's like things out of place. You can do that stuff. Yahaha, you found me. Uh, you're not Hestu, but you can see me. I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. Well, if you run into Hestu, please return this to him. Yeah, um, a cork seed. They have one use. And oh, I missed the fish. Oh no. You can also get corks by picking up rocks, or they're like um, up there on top of that spire on the temple. Um, is a core rock. It's like a little cloud of leaves. You can see. You climb. You can climb all the way up there. And then you can examine it and you'll get a cork. So there are stuff like that and you can get cork seeds. Okay, this is a rusty broadsword. This once fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands but also breaks quickly. So you can get lots of weapons and stuff like that in this game. And there are also monsters. I'll show you one now and hopefully demonstrate a flurry rush. If possible. Ooh, frogs. A hot-footed frog. A quick frog that can be found hopping around near water. Cook it with monster parts to draw out its speed boost effect. We can get that one as well. Cool. 
that will be hopefully useful sometime. Well, it will be, maybe. I don't know, I never really cook Alexas. But you see that? That is a book. Boca blend, Boca blend, however you want to say it, but there's, and then you get to do this, like the slow thing, and then um, it will disarm the enemy, and you can take the weapon, so that's quite cool. Um, and, oh, and then often found on the ground near trees, squirrels adore this nut, so you may have competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. Cool. And then we have these Bokoblin horns, the severed horn of a Bokoblin, a creature often encountered on the plains of Hyrule. It isn't edible, but it can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. Cool. And then there are more apples, so we can grab those. Hopefully. I'll, I'll climb the tree then. I don't mind. Oh no, a choo choo. So these got choo choo jelly, they have three health. Oh no, choo choo jelly. A gelatinous substance that came from a choo choo. It's unusual, unusable in this state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. So yeah, you can get fire choo choos, electric choo choos, or like ice choo choos, and different element elemental choo choos. Um, and there is also another Boca blend, and up there in those ruins, there is a chest with something special in it. That, if you don't know about it, you can usually only get that item while you're off the plateau. So that's quite nice. Let's see, what will you do? That, okay. Whee! Okay. We know it there. And then, yeah, it has a Boca club. A crude bokoblin club made to club a small prey. It's essentially a stick, so its du durability, I didn't get to read that all, is low. Okay, cool. Now, you can also do spin attacks by holding Y, which is here. You can do that, but it uses stamina. Bokoblin fang, a tooth obtained from a bokoblin. It's worn down and not very sharp, but it's still pretty hard. Cook it alongside a crit critter to make an elixir. Cool. And then there is also another Bokoblin guarding these ruins, as you can see. Cool. Flurry rush time, hopefully. Goodbye. I don't like when they do that and I know I can't hit them. It's kind of annoying. Goodbye. At least we have another weapon and we don't have any tree branches, so we can use them. Anyway, we have Hylian trousers. Tradi traditional dress trousers of Hyrule. The plush fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable and their high durability makes them ideal for travelers. Cool. And now we can wear them. Now we have four armor points because the trousers give us three. So that's quite nice, isn't it? And there are also some rocks there, and also some dynamite, so I wonder what we're going to do with that. Obviously, blow them up, but there, you can also get um, camps like this, of Bokoblins, and or just any monster. And sometimes they have this cooking meat, and you can get it to restore hearts, and that's very nice. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I'm glad... Oh no. Oh, they know. Oh, oh, they're throwing it. Okay. Oh, they. Oh no. Ah. Oh no. Don't have a weapon. Um, I'll use this. Whee. Okay. I like how two handed weapons make enemies go flying. That's fun. And then. I didn't actually know they throw dynamite because. I never, I always push the rock, so. And that camp over there is quite hard, so. We don't have to go there yet. We can do it when we're getting off the plateau, because it has a blue book. book oh, sorry, I forgot to read that. Raw meat cooked over an open flame. Cooking it has increased its flavor and the number of hearts it provides. Cool. 
and it does one and a half. You can also break barrels and stuff like that. Huh. But usually they have stuff in them that you can get because like apples or arrows. So it's very nice. I wonder if we can sneak strike them. It's like when you sneak up behind an enemy and then it, you can press Y to sneak strike and it, I think it multiplies your weapon damage by 8. We'll see. Look, watch this. Oh, come on. Bye. Okay. We need these. They're, they have bows, which is very useful. An arrow. Okay. Um, we need to get bow. Boko bow, a basic book of the bow made of wood. It's made by taking any tree branch and just tying a string to the other end, so don't expect much in the way of combat effect effectiveness. Okay, so you do press ZR to fire, and you can switch just like oh, oops, just like any other. But you have to be holding a bow to switch. And there goes that one flying, and that one. Okay, this one. Ooh, arrow. Um, you'll need lots of arrows sometimes, so. Yeah. So, they have been doing lots of target practice. Um, ooh, there's another. Also, whenever you sp see sparkles. Oh, like there. Um, it means there's something there. <gasps> Five arrows! Hooray! Oh, there's the bow queen. Okay, let's see how you fare with my axe. Yay. Okay, there goes that one. And that one over there, very special because it has our first shield. So, also our first fight, our first traveler's sword. Oh, cool. Boko shield, a Bokoblin shield made, a Bokoblin made shield created by attaching a handhold to any flat tree bark picked up off the ground. It's pretty shoddy, so don't expect it to last very long. Okay, that's nice um yeah so i guess we'll just get the oh yes on with that traveler's sword a very common sword often kept by travelers to fend off small beasts it's fairly durable but a bit unreliable against monsters oh what's that oh oh no i missed the cricket okay more arrows and bokoblin horns cool now this is the point marked on our Sheikah Slate. As you can see in the mini map in the bottom right hand corner, there is a little glowing dot and we are on it. Now we'll just do this. I'll be quiet for this. Now that Sheikah Tower has arisen, guess what it gives us? A map for the Great Plateau. Ooh, very exciting. That will be nice. Distilling local information. We have our map. That's very nice. Ooh, 
assume it's the voice again. I'm not going to reveal who it is. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. <laughs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Hey, the cutscene's ended now, and it's loading. But the video has been a bit long, so I think that's gonna have to wrap it up. So I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs> Good, 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 good